you doing? Doing pretty well, my friend. Today we will discuss about toxic mega colon. As the name suggests, toxic means toxic. Anything to do with hemodynamically unstable patient. So we'll see. Mega is big, colon is big. So it's a sigmoid colon. Comes huge, distended. And why it is happening? The causes are secondary to something. So secondary to inflammatory bowel disease. This is large intestine. Second into inflammatory bowel disease, especially ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease can also be there. Also, the causes are infections. Most common infection is C. diff, Clostridium difficile. As sec secondary to the patient is hospitalized, uh, long history of antibiotics in the in inpatient, leading to pseudomembranous colitis. Ultimately, the complication is toxic megacolon if you don't treat. Now. What we need to know about in the question, if you are doing a question and what the main goal is. It is toxic picture, so patient will be hemodynamically unstable. Dynamically unstable patient. What does that mean? Blood pressure is low. Tachycardia. Heart rate is high. The patient will have abdominal distension, so abdominal pain. Location. Okay. So the how to otherwise patient will also have a diarrhea, painful, uh, could blood could be there also in the diarrhea. So the main important question is how to diagnose toxic megapolon. How would you know? Of course, the diagnosis is abdominal x ray. Abdominal x ray will show exactly air fluid level and uh, there's a huge distension, toxic metabolism. Patient is unstable. So now go with the causes and treat it. So the treatment initially, I'll just, uh, just, I'll talk about the treatment. Now initially, the treatment will be bowel rest, bowel rest, rest. And PO decompression. Uh, okay, let's say NG decompression, nasogastric decompression. IV fluids. That's a general treatment. IV fluids because we have to stabilize the patient and. Last resort is surgery. Now we'll talk about the main causes. So if in the US family question, you know that patient is having toxic megacolon secondary to IBD, treat the IBD first. So treat the IBD with 
And if it is secondary to infection, which is C. diff, treat C. diff by giving oral vancomycin. The patient is then already, you know, unstable IV. So C. diff antibiotics. Other than that, just focus on these uh, highlighted points we are mentioning here. Now, I will ask Dr. Khanda if you want to add something here. Ah, so I, I just make it generalized. Like, so don't far is like great. Uh, can we ever do colonoscopy here? No, we cannot do colonoscopy. Because the thing is, if you are treating, if you are going for IVD, we are actually, we know that the patient is having ulcerative colitis or Crohn disease. Now the thing is we are treating it with the treatment uh, by giving steroid, mesalamine and all that, 5 uh, ASA. Then if needed after post, as we know that the screening for the colon cancer secondary to IBD, then we go for that post 8 year of diagnosis. Then we go for colonoscopy in order to diagnose for colon cancer. But normally the main thing is in the question what you are looking for and they, are, they always love to ask how to diagnose it. by picking this answer abdominal x-ray because the abdominal ultrasound CT not not helpful because this is the initial best non-invasive just do the x-ray and make sure all right well, now we know that patient otherwise patient will present with the hemodyna hemodynamically unstable because it's, it's a toxic pic picture patient has acute abdomen so toxic picture and then of course the last but not the least it can happen uh, secondary to ischemia also but we're taking it after these are the most common causes secondary to inflammatory bowel disease and secondary to infection third we can write ischemia ischemic but it is less likely most likely they would love to make question out of IBD and C. diff treat the causes I think we are good to go very good and colonoscopy there could be risk of perforation of the colon yeah because we are just uh, we have to treat the causes and colonoscopy is not helpful excellent and then one other infection that can cause is that from south america you can get the chagas disease which yes. causes mega Epenos. everything mega esophagus mega Epenosomas. cruzy cruzy great thanks for adding more stuff here